Poland, Lil Yachty. We finally get the song. I actually don't even remember how it goes, but I know that it, fuck, how did I forget that? We were listening to it like straight, but now I, is it on streaming services? It is. And the cover art, just straight Poland. Poland got to sue him for copyright infringement. Let's check out the music video, Lyrical Lemonade. Let's see, All, already a mil views, probably over, ugh, over that too because YouTube views kind of register late. I did call this ass PayPal, I ain't gonna lie. I called it, actually I don't know if I called it ass, but I was like, this is obviously a meme song, not necessarily made to be good, but then it, I, as I told y'all, it was on the internet so much that it grew on me. That's what happens with TikTok. These TikTok kids ain't listening to music because they personally like it off the get go. They like it because they hear it so much and people doing so many skits to it that it's just like, you get accustomed to it. That's what music is. It's communication of words and like sounds. So when you go to a party and everybody else knows a song, there's like a culture behind it. That's why it's fun. Everybody's singing the same shit, but that, that's why I like it now. And honestly, the verse is actually pretty good. Um, just the walk is kind of odd. Y'all can't tell me it's not. Him singing walk is what music needed. We needed artists using their voices as instruments and being different. You know what? You're right. I feel like music has gotten stale because people are trying to appease like the algorithms and the audiences. And that's why there's so many clones nowadays because people are trying to do the sound that's already popular. And it's not necessarily the artist's fault either or the producer's fault. It's just that if you're doing some new shit, most of the time people are like, oh, that's you're like, who, who? Or like that's mid or whatever. So now that this is something completely new, yes, it's like a meme and like, I don't think Yachty, I still believe he was not actually trying to release this song. It leaked. <laughs> it just sounds funny, but it turned into a fire song eventually. Like, it's good that he's stepping outside the box. Like, th no other artist was, was putting a fan up to the microphone singing, Walk! But yeah, more artists need to step outside the box like this. Everybody like being a Yeet clone or Cardi clone or, you know, that's how it is. So many copycats, the hook refreshing. Exactly. Um, and Yachty needed this hit. Yeah, I feel like he hasn't had like a smash hit in a while that like everybody knew. Of course, you know, he's always going to be here because he's just an established name. Lil Yachty ever since like 2016, the original SoundCloud era. But, you know, ever since, uh, let's see, like the Sprite. What, what, is, what is that song? The Sprite commercial? I can't remember what his songs were on Summer Songs Volume 2. Um when his voice first came out and then kind of recently he's been rapping more like an actual rapper instead of using the nursery rhyme voice with the heavy auto tune but this was kind of his own thing like a new sound so i'm proud of him yeah he got his own hit finally i just want to see if it lasts though because again it was a really hot meme Personally, I forgot about the song until like a couple days ago. So that's why they probably rushed out the song. But you know what? This could continue to be a thing, especially with the Lyrical Lemonade cosign and music video. It'll continue to go viral. More people who aren't even in the scene will start hearing this song and be like, what the fuck is that? Minnesota. Yeah, that was on the Sprite commercial. I didn't even like that shit, though. <laughs> like that voice of Yachty. I never understood it. It was definitely new and kind of like this but you know what maybe it would have grown on me if i if i continued to listen to it you think it's gonna be big yeah shit it would be cool to see how like the leak community of poland it, it, it acts similar to when kid cuddy first leaked by playboy cardi and young nudie it would be cool to see some shit blow up to the max in a similar fashion completely organically where the artists only dropped the song even though cardi and nudie didn't end up dropping kid cuddy for clearance issues but they dropped the song only because it blew up from the leak community like that like y'all did it I, I don't know if red pines was the first person to leak the snippet but that like he he can say he was the creator of the trend if he did that would be crazy 
And other people should should definitely do remixes to this. It would be hilarious. 